Apple has been dropping new hardware announcements all week with the release of a new iPad Air, iPad mini, and updated iMacs. Today, the company announced an update to one of its most popular accessories of all time, the AirPods. In this episode, I give you the top five changes and improvements that Apple has made to the most popular wireless headphones in the world. What is going on, Tech Squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of GearLive.com. If you're into tech and gadgets, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. As I mentioned today, Apple announced a brand new update, the first update ever actually to its popular AirPods. Now you're gonna see online, a lot of people are calling these the AirPods 2. Apple is not referring to them as AirPods 2, so don't search for AirPods 2 on the Apple website or Best Buy or anywhere else. They're just the AirPods, the 2019 version, and they're replacing the previous generation. So I'm sure you're here to find out what's new and what's improved about these little guys. So let's talk about the top five changes that Apple's made to the AirPods, starting with wireless charging. When you head to the Apple store to buy new AirPods, the most obvious change is that you now have two options. There's the AirPods with wireless charging case for $199, and there's the AirPods with charging case for $159. The difference between the two is in the name itself. You can get the new version of the AirPods with that same lightning connector case, that's this one right here, lightning connector at the bottom for $159. And when you wanna charge it up, you use the same type of cable that you use to charge your iPhone, that being a lightning cable. But if you want a case that charges with lightning and also gives you the option to charge it wirelessly, Apple now provides that as well with the wireless charging case for AirPods. For an additional $40, you get a pair of AirPods that you can charge on any Qi compatible wireless charger, including Apple's own AirPower mat, which fingers crossed will be launching later this week. But like I said, you do not need the AirPower mat specifically. You can use any Qi wireless charger to charge your AirPods. Just lay them on the charger and they'll get juiced up. Now, one more note on the AirPods case in particular. This is also the first time that Apple is allowing custom engraving to be done on the case as well, but that only applies if you buy them through the Apple online store. Up next, feature number two in the top five changes to the AirPods is battery life. And in particular, we're talking about phone call battery life, talk time battery life. And this is a welcome change because the original AirPods did not do that well when it came to phone calls. Battery life was pretty lacking. Now with the release of the new AirPods, Apple is touting the new H1 chip, which is replacing the W1 chip that we found in the previous AirPods, and battery life for talk time is one of the improvements. So thanks to that new chip, we're getting increased battery life for phone calls. The original AirPods were good for about two hours of talk time per charge, while the new model bumps that up to three hours 50% better. When you include all the power in the battery case too, the original pair was good for 11 hours of talk time, while the new version bumps that up to 18. Up next, let's talk about connectivity. That H1 wireless chip is also responsible for the fact that the new AirPods can switch between devices twice as fast, which means if you have them connected to your iPhone and you wanna connect them over to your iPad, you can do that in half the time as you could with the previous model. In addition, the new AirPods connect to phone calls 1.5 times faster, so 50% faster for connecting to phone calls when you take them out of the case and put them in your ear. And hey, if you're a gamer using AirPods, you may have noticed that there was a small latency issue. The new AirPods deliver up to 30% lower gaming latency as well. All right, number four on the list of top five features in the new AirPods, the AirPods 2, the AirPods 2019, is Hey Siri support. Can you? series going off back there. So I won't keep saying that phrase because I don't want to make your devices go off, but the new AirPods do now have an always on hey listening feature. So now you can say things like, hey, call my brother, call mom, hey, give me directions to the nearest Starbucks. If you're an Apple Music user, hey, play my chill mix playlist. There's no longer a need to double tap on your ear pod and try to remember which one it was that did Siri and which one did play pause and all that. Just say it out loud. And cool thing there, by the way, is that despite that always on hey, almost said it, despite the always on hey support, it's not resulting in decreased battery life. And last on my list of top five features for the new Apple AirPods is increased sound quality. Now this is coming from Apple themselves. They're saying that H1 chip is also gonna deliver even better sound quality than we saw with the original AirPods. But admittedly, this is one that I'm just telling you that Apple said. I haven't tried 
new AirPods yet. And sound quality is one of those things you have to try for yourself in order to discern if that's actually true, if it's actually better. And even then sound quality is something that comes down to personal preference anyway. But hey, Apple's saying it's improved, they've worked to improve it, H1 chip is in there, so let's see how it turns out. The new AirPods are gonna start shipping next week if you wanna get the version with the wireless battery case. If you order it online, they are now back ordered into April, so you may just wanna wait and head into a Best Buy or an Apple store to buy them in person. By the way, if you do pick up the new AirPods and you need a little help getting them set up, I do have a video showing you exactly how to set up your AirPods. I will leave it up here, here, somewhere for you to click on and also a link down in the description below. The rumor is that Apple is not done with the product releases this week. Again, Monday was the new iPads, Tuesday was the new iMacs, Wednesday was the new AirPods, and we're expecting Thursday may be the new iPods and Friday may be the new AirPower wireless charging mat. Apple then takes the weekend off and on Monday they have their big new Apple services event from the Steve Jobs Theater. Now if you have any guesses as to what you think Apple will be dropping either later this week or talking about on Monday, hint hint, Apple's new video service, drop a comment down below, I'll meet you there for further discussion. Thanks so much for watching as always guys, I appreciate your support, I'm Andrew Webbers and I will catch you in the next video.